Hi, I'm John, the Community Currency Engineer Termel, and this is part two of my blog post, Michiani Money Suffering Rare Criticisms. So, answering all the doubts of the skeptics. Then Brian Lewis wrote, uh, Call it the FS as in flipping stupid. There is only one reason for this currency. It is a way to get your real dollars out of the, your wallets and into the local currency printer's hands. And I said again, the criticism is only incurred by the cash buy-in that lets people like this suspect scam. Any demand for cash would be called a scam. And though making your currency buy only invites this kind of baseless, though inevitable, skepticism. What if you could join one of the let systems catering to the masses who don't have any cash or gold? What if you could buy in with an IOU for a hundred hours of labor? And everyone else, we all chip in a buck or two to print up some time-based IOU notes. Or, we all print up and sign our own at our home computers, so there's no scam possible. Any problems? So just because the Berkshire and the Liberty Dollar systems have weaknesses, it doesn't mean the well-designed time-trading networks do too. Justin Bowen JB, there's only one reason for this currency. Oh, I did that one right. And when the real dollars are okay about the local currency in printer's hands, I said and when all the real dollars are out of your wallets at the local poker game and into the local currency printers, the bank hands, what are you afraid the banker can do at your local poker game holding on to your cash for those chips? Kind of like the U.S. dollar, he says, and I said, kind of like the U.S. dollar, not. All positives balance all negatives, and everyone can inspect the books anytime. The Justice wrote, I have to agree with Justin. It doesn't necessarily need to be gold, but something tangible with value. Heck, it could be gold, silver, wheat, corn, oil, land, firewood, water, etc. Anything that has a real use and a finite amount. I said, and any of them can be a numerator with which we evaluate the others. But time is the best because time is the easiest understood all around the world. Which is why time is now being traded all around the world. TJ, the Liberty Dollar was the best thing this country has attempted in a long time and was one step that would have actually resulted in more freedom and liberty for citizens from the world bankers, your government. And I said, and if an interior mo if inferior model based on a substance in short supply designed to incur government wrath would be of such benefit, imagine a superior model based on a substance of value in abundance, human time, and designed to comply with government regulations would be of even greater benefit, right? Michiani Moolah linked to time will be accepted all around the world as readily as my personal time IOU was. Richard Ferguson, can we spell forged? Sounds like a scam in the works. Bad idea. By the way, what is downtown to spend it all? Bars or the Hall of Shame? It's ghost town. I said, well, this is the kind of senseless criticism can only arise with a cash buy-in for the chips. Carl Hardy, oh, the guy who posted the thing, responds, for the record, this is a non-profit grassroots project by and for Michiana area residents. No one is or will be making money from our local currency. I said, do you think these guys can help but think it's now a conspiracy? <laughs> so, K.H., the merits or lack of deserve thoughtful research before forming an opinion. Local currency at Wikipedia, check it. Ithaca Hours, he sends the website. You can also get more information at their site, michianacurrency.org. And I said, well, the last thing the uninformed want to do is get informed, right? So, Mike Trzicki wrote, Who? Who pays the cost of having this local currency? And I said, Well, use pure computer credit system, and then no one does. But if you want the convenience of paper chips, sure, there'll be a print job. Unless you install a standard note anyone can download, print out in the right denominations, sign it, register it, I've issued this much currency in my name, and then use it. So you don't need the suspicious print job whose costs worry you so. Say only those who want to use paper buy the notes once printed. Feel any better? MT. I thought this I idea had come and gone, and the community decided it wasn't such a grand idea. 
And I said, well, I'm sure many in the community who think this do-it-yourself self-help currency system had come and gone and are quite content to do nothing, counting on local governments to save the day. MT, please inform or correct my ignorance. And I said, done. Gypsy Jeff wrote, currency is issued by governments. The full faith and credit of those governments guarantee the value of the currency. And I said, and local currency is issued by your neighbors. The full faith and credit of those neighbors guarantees the value of the our IOU currency. So who would you want to trust? Big government or local neighbor? GG. Social dollars sounds like an old socialist barter system. And I said, let the socialists save themselves with the old socialist barter system that saved Russia and Argentina just recently. No social dollars needed to save America when it's already being saved quite satisfactorily, right? It would not be legal tender, nor could it be legal tender. And I said, it would be a receipt for a constant value in time. What does the farmer's market versus Walmart have to do with anything? We are no longer an agrarian society. And I said, well, when the local shoemaker takes your money, then comes back to spend his profit in your store, versus when Walmart takes your money for shoes and then sends the profit out of town, it has nothing to do with agrarian shoes. Brian Lewis. Okay, Carl, how does one obtain a denomination of local currency? Will employers pay their workers in local currency? Will banks cash local currency checks? No, I'm going to have to trade my real money to get your fake money. You will deposit my fake money in the bank and spend it. Meanwhile, my newly obtained fake money will rot in the drawer and never be used. You seem determined that this is a grand idea and we are stupid for rejecting it because we haven't researched it enough to fall in love with it. Sounds a lot like the current White House administration. And I said, well, after all I've now explained, I agree with your conclusion that this is a grand idea and we are stupid for rejecting it because we haven't researched it enough to fall in love with it. He's looking for flaws in the only way out being offered. Like the guys who never got out of jail because they never checked to find out the cell was unlocked. BL, take your flipping stupid currency and shove it. And I said, is there some way to stop Brian from joining when he finally wises up to punish him? Can't. Just like no one can stop Ithaca neighbors from accepting Ithaca hours rather than do no deal, no one can stop Brian from using the financial lifeboat when he gets desperate enough. He's not there yet but he's not looking for a way out. One quick note on a community currency activist, Doug Rushkoff, who at white, W-H-Y-T-E, wolf.us said, I think we are in one of those rare moments of opportunity where the bank-based speculative economy is imperiled and ineffective enough to make alternative currencies and collaborations seem more reasonable. The more we experience putting food on the table and smiles on our faces by exchanging something other than bank-issued cash, the more we will begin to believe in our own ability to create value for ourselves and one another without intermediary institutions. I am here to promote the hacking of the economy one step at a time not crashing the economy that exists or even negating its usefulness for certain kinds of exchanges and efforts. Just building something else from the bottom up that addresses the myriad needs ignored or repressed by the one-sided system we have today. So, in his own words, I, John the Engineer, Banking Systems Engineer Termel, am here to promote not hacking the economy, but Upgrading the banking system software, running the economy, one step, not one step in a series. Not crashing the economy that exists or even negating its usefulness for certain kinds of exchange and efforts. Just building something else from the top down that addresses the myriad needs ignored and repressed by the one-sided system we have today. That's why I financed the first Let's software to start the process from the bottom up. But it's also why I propose the Unilets resolution, C6, to governments, that it also be done from the top down. I've always aimed for the top to order the upgrade on a large database as possible, while supporting the bottom in order to finally unite the small, compatible, time-based databases into one big lifeboat, soon to dwarf the official short-money ship of state. 
So I said, go see my website for more information on that. So that was Douglas Rushkoff, Monetary Reformer's idea about hacking the economy where I want to upgrade the bank software.